All right, now that the vision subsystem is complete, we're going to move on to the robot container. So you see the robot container here is the one with the red value. I'm going to delete everything, all the imports as we don't need it. These few lines of code as we don't need it. Don't want to configure my bindings. So actually these bottom two methods can go. All right, so what do we need to add here? The first thing is the actual subsystem. I'm going to call the subsystem vision. Now in the container, we actually need to create an instance of vision. The reason why we call the vision in the robot container as instead of calling it individually before is in this way it's a lot more efficient as we're only creating one instance of the subsystem and this instance can be passed between multiple commands. Where if you had multiple instances of the same subsystem you can run into issues of resources being shared or multiple calls being called to the same thing where one call could be saying do this where the other call is saying no don't do that which will cause your system to hang. Let's also move over to start creating the command. So let's click on the command drop down here. We can get rid of the example command. So I'm going to hit delete. Yes. Now in the command folder, right click new file. We're going to call it vision command. Dot Java. Now the vision command is just as simple as the robot container. I mean the vision subsystem. So let's create the package. Create the class. All right. Now let's bring in the subsystem. All right, so what we've done here is we've created an object of the vision subsystem called vision, and you assign the instance of the vision subsystem, which was created in robot container, to this object. I'm also going to create a little variable here to perform a latching action. create the constructor now in the constructor I'm going to add the requirement that I need the subsystem vision now I need to add the default methods that are required for the command base going to create them and then we'll go back and populate what we need.
So, let's explain the base framework here. We have our vision command, which is the extension of the command base. We have our subsystem object that was instantiated in robot container. We have a simple boolean variable. We have our constructor which creates the requirement that it requires vision. And then we have four methods. Initialize, execute, end, and is finished. Initialize is called on the first call of this command. So if you wanted to initialize anything you could do it in here. Execute is called every time the command is called end is called when the command is scheduled to end or is interrupted so if you're moving a motor you could put the stop motor in here to make it stop is finished is a conditional uh, command that you could put in here that if you wanted this command to end based on this condition so in this case if I wanted this command to end when a limit switch is hit I could read that limit switch here that when it turns true it stops the command but we don't need any end conditions in this case so let's add what we need in the execute as that's where we we will be putting the code our key is get new barcode and our default value is false as always Alright, so let's explain what's happening here. So I'm going to read, remember the get new barcode is that uh, switch that we're adding to the smart dashboard or shuffleboard. So I'm going to read what the value of that switch is and assign it to this variable. Now, if I can't read this button, I'm just going to return false so it doesn't do anything. So if get new barcode is true, which is just simple here, that I wanted to read a new barcode, so we're going to call the read barcode function from the vision subsystem. And then immediately after calling read barcode, I'm going to set the push button to be false so that it doesn't latch and keep calling this over and over and over and over and over and over again when I only need to call it once. And that's it for the vision command. Now there's one last thing we need to add to the robot, I mean to the robot container. And that is assigning vision to use a default command. And in this case we want to create the command so new vision command. Now if you notice vision command is underlined that's because we have not imported yet. A quick way to import it is to click on it and you'll see this yellow light bulb pop up and then we can import the vision command as we see fit. We can exit out now. As you can see there's some errors that we need to go over. In robot.java because we made those changes to robot container there are going to be some things that it doesn't like because it can't call that function anymore from robot container. So we're just going to delete all the areas that are red. So that's inside autonomous in it, teleop in it. And up here, don't delete this, but you can delete the first one, which is the autonomous command. And we can also get rid of the command import as we don't need it. We can 
hit save. All right, and that's it for this simple vision project. In the next video, we'll go over deploying the project to the VMX and running the project. One last thing, just to show that everything's working, we're going to run a build. So I can click on here, or I can hit F1 as we showed before. So let's go. I can also type in here. So build, and it'll build the robot. You can see it's nice and quick.